for the security and convenience of the Black Mesa Research Facility personnel. The time is 8.47 a.m. Current topside temperature is 93 degrees with an estimated high of 105. The Black Mesa compound is maintained at a pleasant 68 degrees at all times.
a reminder that the Black Mesa Hazard Course Decathlon will commence this evening at 1900 hours in the Level 3 facility. The semifinals for high security personnel will be announced in a separate secure broadcast transmission. Remember, more lives than yours may depend on your fitness. who would make a valuable addition to the Black Mesa team? Immediate openings are available in the areas of materials handling and low clearance security. Please contact Black Mesa personnel for further information. If you have an associate with a background in the areas of theoretical physics, biotechnology, or other high-tech disciplines, Please contact our civilian recruiting team. The Black Mesa facility is an equal opportunity employer. personnel. Regular radiation and biohazard screenings are a requirement of continued employment in the Black Mesa Research Facility. Missing a scheduled urinalysis or radiation checkup is grounds for immediate termination. If you feel you have been exposed to radioactive or other hazardous materials in the course of your duties, contact your radiation safety officer immediately. Work safe. Work smart. Your future depends on it. Now arriving at Sector C test labs and control facilities. Morning, Mr. Freeman. Looks like you're running late. You know, Barney's been pretty scarce around these parts. I guess his bar tab must have finally caught up with him. Man, you cut the ponytail. Sell out. Hey, Mr. Freeman. I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about, I don't know, 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. They were also having some problems down in the test chamber, too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. Gordon Freeman. Dr. Vavilov, report to a 
Please, leave me alone until after the experiment. Get away from there, Freeman. I'm expecting an important message. Any ideas on there the was someone of downstairs useful? asking about you, or was it upstairs? Gordo, you're on Sundial, and we need you on stopwatch. Up to it. What are you doing still running around up here? Good morning, Dr. Freeman. Earlier, but the thermal protection system seems to be online now. Those TPS reports have gotten progressively worse. Hard to find good help these days. Yes, about that. We're going to need you to come in this weekend. What? I've already made plans! Oh, don't worry. You can always attend the next convention. Doctor Nielsen reports. Superconducting interchange is activated. Oh, would you look at that? Freeman actually did show up for work this morning. Looks like somebody here owes me lunch. Well, good morning, Freeman. Yep, yep, yep. There's a pepperoni pizza in my near future. Gordon, I'm busy. The sample was just sent down to the test chamber. Big day today, eh, Freeman? Good morning, Gordon. I'm rather busy now. experiment is single-handedly responsible for inspiring my career in science. How much recognition do you think you're going to get for reproduction, though? You should focus on inventing something new and unique. He does have a point. Oh, but this is more than replication, I assure you. For one, it shows how far our field has come since the original study was published, and to say nothing of the modern perspective necessary to monitor its influence. I mean, combined with today's technology, I've recreated... Ah. I can't stand to hear another word of this malarkey. Don't mind him, but here's something to think about for the next time. You and your sugar-coated airsots are absolutely full of it. Creativity is the art of hiding your influence. Now let's get back to work. We should at least try to look busy. Dr. Gordon, I'm in the middle of something here. You'll just have to wait until after the test. Weren't you supposed to be in the test chamber half an hour ago? Maxwell's demon! It's cold in here. Hello, Dr. Cross. I'm rather busy now.
Morning, champ. Hello. Another day, another dollar. Good heavens! What the hell? <laughs> you think you can fix the vending machine too, college boy? We will never hear the end of this. Yeah, you best make like an atom and split. You better make like a nut and bolt. You better make like diarrhea and run. Believe you me, I won't be taking the blame for this one. Gordon, you've already done enough damage here. Get to work. You better make like a baby and head out. Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? <sighs> Drat. No toilet paper. Oh, thank heavens! I'm in dire need of some toilet paper. My God, what are you doing? Keep your busy little hands to yourself, Freeman. Remember my days in the hazardous environment suit? I'm rather looking forward to this analysis, aren't you? We can talk at lunch. We're all set for this weekend. Dr. Gibbons is coming in to cover for you. Splendid! I haven't missed the New Mexico Comic Convention yet. Yes, soon we will drive our enemies before us. And hear the lamentations of their women! 
<laughs> Fare thee well, traveller. You forgot to carry the two, or was it the three? I don't know about that, Dr. Truman. Seems to me that he's just spouting buzzwords in his research papers that he picked up from perusing popular scientific periodicals. Security Officer Alexander, please report to Office Complex for personnel profile. Go right on through, sir. Looks like you're in the barrel today. You lost, Ace? Yeah, this is still the wrong airlock. Looking slick, Freemeister. Creamsicle orange really brings out your eyes. Hi. Weren't you supposed to be in the test chamber half an hour ago? Did you catch that last fluctuation? It's nothing to worry about. This is going to have to wait, Gordon. Now where did I leave that shutdown procedure chart? I'm sure it'll show up sooner or later. resonance control. Double check the Brewster's plate's angles and make sure the superluminescent diodes are protected from optical feedback. How curious. The acousto-optic modulators are on the fritz again. <laughs> I assure you, we've compensated for any contingency. You'll just have to wait until after the test. You'll just have to wait until after the test. What's up, Doc? Ready for another rousing day, Freeman? Excuse me, Gordon, but I'm rather busy now.
Excuse me, Gordon, but I'm rather busy now. You'll just have to wait until after the test. If another instrument malfunctions today, I'm going to explode. Please relax. Things could be much, much worse. Ah, Gordon, there you are. Nice of you to finally join us, Doctor. We've just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. Bit of a gamble, but we needed the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather he went to some lengths to get it. Mm. They're waiting for you, Gordon. In the test chamber. Right. Come on, then. I'll walk you down. Eli has been busy making last-minute preparations for the new experiment. How is the debugging procedure coming along? Greetings, Eli. Absolutely not. Morning, Izzy. I trust this morning finds you well. Gordon, good morning. I'm glad you're here. These last-minute changes, they're a bit strange to just... Oh, it's about to go critical. What in the blazes is going on with our equipment? Oh, it was never meant to do this in the first place. Oh. It's nothing we can't handle ourselves, Eli. Run along, Gordon. We'll be but a moment. By Becquerel's ghost! The radiation level is off the charts. Weren't you supposed to be in the test chamber half an hour ago? You know, this is far from the glory I had envisioned as an undergrad. How so? I've got two PhDs and an Ersted medal, yet I find myself doing work best suited for an intern. Please, you do very meaningful work here. Really? Push that button. Walk over here. Push this one. Stand and stare at the screen. Walk back over there. Push another button. Again. Come now. You're overreacting. <sighs> I don't know how much longer I can abide these perfunctory tasks. I need more time for myself. Ha. Huh. Don't kid yourself. You wouldn't know what to do with free time if you even had any. That tears it. I'm going to check with the office upstairs and see how many vacation days I've accrued over the past 25 years. It's high time I took a break from all this. Certainly. But before you do, activate the electron multiplier and report the reading from the micro-channel plates. Oh, there you are. Everybody's been looking for you, hombre. 